Showtime is airing the eighth and final season of CIA thriller Homeland. I'm Riley Chow, contributing editor of Gold Derby, here with supporting actor Costa Ronan, who was introduced last season as Russian officer Yevgeny Gromov. Costa, what did you learn about U.S.-Russia relations from working on this show? Uh, quite frankly, uh, you had to kind of learn everything there was to learn about the Russia-U.S. Uh, relationship for the last half of the 20th century and the better half of the 21st century as well. Um, and also uh, the world affairs and um, um, the input that uh, sort of the way that the Russia-US relationship has on what's that, what else is going on in the world. Um, I don't think I knew, uh, I learned anything, anything new, uh, really. I think what was more surprising, similar to sort of uh, the other research was the fact that there is a lot of cooperation between uh, the United States and Russia and other uh, special services and secret services and um, intelligence services around the world, um, which is great to know and great to see because at the end of the day, we're all working towards the same goal and uh, it doesn't matter which flag you're working for, which people you're working for, at the end of the day, you're working for the people. Now, I understand that Homeland usually visits certain intelligence agencies ahead of the season. Uh, were you involved in that? No, I wasn't involved in that, no. <laughs> and uh, did you base your portrayal off of any uh, real-life agents or figures? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I think what I, what I did do is uh, every, every year before uh, filming, I, I went to Russia and I would spend usually a week or two weeks there, uh, just trying to sort of soak in the air and um, uh, really live in the shoes of my character and kind of really kind of go to the places he would go to and see the people he would see, read the books he would see, watch the TV programs that he would watch. Um, and that was invaluable. That was really, really interesting. Um, that's kind of something I always do. and. Um, I thought it was very beneficial also for Homeland because it's so current. Uh, and when you take the action to where it actually takes place, rather than trying to film or trying to kind of imagine it, it's always a lot more authentic and a lot more natural. Now, in season seven, uh, Yevgeny, he's more actively thwarting and interfering in American affairs, I found, with you know, cyber war uh, warfare and murdering people. Uh, this season, it seems like we're not really seeing that so much, and he's kind of more of a romantic lead. Uh, so can you tell me about that shift in the portrayal of the character? I wouldn't call it a shift, to be honest. I feel that just like you, me, you, Annie and Carrie, and every other character on the show, um, just like in real life, there are different sides to us, uh, and there are different things that we do. Uh, last year, we were previewed to that part of his um, his life. Uh, he had a different mission. He had a different objective. Uh, we're still to find out what his objective is this year. I wouldn't call him uh, a romantic lead this year. Uh, we're just seeing more interaction between him and Carrie on a different level. Um, they they are very similar characters in a way. They they kind of both went through life unable to connect to other people, just like Carrie, Evgeny went through life unable to connect to women, unable to set a family. He doesn't have friends. He doesn't have anybody he can talk to about what he does. And even if he could, uh, nobody would really understand what he does um, because they operate on a completely different level. Um, and uh, with Evgeny, I think when they met, uh, she became more of a more than a mission because in her, he saw a lot of himself. And I think for the first time in his life, just like for the first time in Carrie's life, they, they got to the point where they found someone they can trust, not fully, not completely, because they're still representing their own intelligence services and their own countries and their own people. But they realize that this is somebody I can work with. And this is somebody who understands that there is a bigger picture and there is a better way of doing things. And by working together, uh, we can actually achieve a lot more. Because at the end of the day, responsibility, the responsibility we have before the people of our countries is a lot greater than the responsibility we have before the governments. 
Uh, how guilty do you think he feels about how he treats and manipulates Carrie? And do you think he even should feel guilty at all? No, I don't feel he should feel guilty because this is what they do and this is what they accept. Uh, even in the last episode, um, that moment when he finds out and Carrie tells him that she wasn't completely upfront with him and um, there was a black box or how marriage, uh, how, how Max put it, the uh, orange box. Um, and she knows where it is. And that is something that she did not tell Evgeny. Evgeny was led to believe that this whole mission is very much of a personal nature. Um, but it's not something to be um, unexpected because they, they still, just like the audience is trying to find out where these guys are going and how they are finding their grounds, the characters themselves are trying to get to get to know one another and figure out what what's true, what's not. How can we make this work? Uh, to what degree can I be honest with her uh, as Evgeny? Uh, to what degree can she be honest with Evgeny? Um, and um, so it's 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 kind of at the moment they are getting to know one another. They're getting to know also the boundaries, where the boundaries are, and how honest they can be with one another. Yeah, I'm finding that it really goes back and forth uh, in terms of how much we, you know, as an audience on Carrie's side more, uh, can trust Yevgeny. Uh, your publicist and, you know, when we were setting up this interview, they wanted to make sure that I saw the next couple episodes. But... I find that, yeah, sometimes you can trust your character more, sometimes less, and I don't know how it's going to be the next week. Uh, so in playing the character, did you have like a full arc for uh, how much, you know, he knows, or were you kind of finding it out as you went along? And I'm wondering how you played that duplicity. I don't know. Uh, the, the way I work, the way I approach the character is I don't want to know anything that he doesn't know. Uh, so when I get the script, I obviously read the script fully and I work on the full script, but then I focus on my character's storyline because if he doesn't know what's going on with Seoul and what's happening in Pakistan and what's happening, uh, in, in, in the U S then I shouldn't know that because at the end of the day, what I know as an actor, um, can influence the way I play the character. I really prefer to keep the character in in the in the bubble, so to speak. Um, with um, um, yeah, I guess uh, I, I I guess that's the best way to to explain it. As far as the overall arc, I think the discussion usually is about the overall direction of where the story is going, but not too far ahead. Like when we started filming, I did not know uh, that. There's going to be a story about the president and the, the helicopters and things like that. So, um, and which is great. Uh, it allows me as an actor to play the character in real time. Um, and I prefer that. Most of the work I do is, is before I come to set. So when I get there, kind of, I'm just able to let him live, let him play the world that's created by, by the writers and, and by the directors. Um, no, I, I think conflicting reports about whether this was going to be a two-season role from the get-go, and then Homeland was also uh, delayed so much this final season. So I'm wondering, uh, at what point did you know that you'd be coming back in such a big role? I, I, I didn't. Um, I knew last season when we spoke about um, me coming on, we talked about two seasons and a two season arc. Um, but so sort of on one side, I knew that there is a very high probability that I will come back. On the other hand, though, anything can change just because there is a, a certain agreement between uh, uh, an actor and production that, you know, this is where we are taking the story at any point, especially during the hiatus, the writers can say, you know what, uh, let's take the story in a different direction. Let's sort of focus on this, which means that we don't really need this Russian side of the story, which means that we don't need these actors anymore. And so all these previous conversations kind of become obsolete because uh, now the story is going in a different direction. It really does all come down to where the creators want to take the story. 
And how did you get this part? And was there kind of a fake character name that they put out to keep things secretive? Or is it pretty much uh, you knew that you were getting the part of Yevgeny when you tried out for it? Um, no, it was the part of, uh, his name was actually something else. Uh, and then um, I had a conversation with Chip uh, and we talked at, at length about his first name and his last name and actually renamed them. Uh, but the essence of the character was exactly the way the way uh, he was originally planned. Uh, and then obviously, you know, I, I, I'm sure when the writers created the character and when Alex created the character, he didn't really know where he's going to take the story. Uh, I, I, I highly doubt that he did. And so by working together and, and by sort of by them being able to see what I can do, what I bring to the part, they were able to kind of, okay, well, we can now show more of this and take the story there and take the story there. So it's, it's very much an organic process where um, actors, all we can do is really just create a wholesome character. And then where the character goes in that story and within that world is really ultimately the decision of the writers and, uh, well, the writers, really, uh, they're like the, the gods on the, uh, in the writing room decide what uh, was going to happen to you and if you live or die um, and how it's all going to happen. Um, so how I got it, I auditioned for it like everybody else. I, uh, I, got, I was in Moscow and um, I got the, uh, uh, the sides. I don't think I got the script. I got the sides. And... Um, I learned the sites, I learned the, the, the dialogue on the, uh, on the plane back to New York and uh, literally landed from the airport, went to the audition room and um, auditioned. And then luckily it all worked out. All right, great. Uh, so we're coming up on the series finale of the show and it's been on for eight seasons. So I'm wondering how you responded to the way it ended and how do you think it's going to go over with fans? To me, what's important is not whether or not I like how it ends, uh, and for that matter, not even if the, fan if the fans like how it ends. What's important to me is whether or not the ending is honest and truthful uh, to the characters and to the stories. And I feel that if it is honest and it is truthful, then the audience responds to it because, you know, it's been such a huge, huge part of uh all of our lives for that well not my life but me as an audience member um for the last close to 10 years and so when the story actually ends we've got i think four episodes to go in the us uh when the story ends it there will be a great void in the hearts of the audience and it absolutely is very very important to tell the story and to end the story um in a way which will be um understood and accepted because at the end of the day just like in real life uh it's you know we want we, you know the certain things we want and the certain way we want things to happen but then um life happens and then it happens in a completely different way but as long as it's truthful and honest to the characters and and the characters lives and that world in which they live then i think we've all done our job Looking through your film, uh, your uh, filmography, I'm seeing a lot of characters named Antoine, a lot of characters with a lot of fees in their names. Uh, do you feel like you're tired of playing uh, kind of all these Russian mobsters and spies and characters so directly tied to uh, the country? No, um, I am uh, a Russian. I am a Russian actor. I Russian is my first language. Um, Yes, I work in both Russian and English, and I think in both Russian and English. But ultimately, uh, what taps into the way I work in my sort of creative process is to be able to think the thoughts of my character. And the thoughts, my thoughts, your thoughts, really are driven by the way we are, the way we are brought up, our cultural background, you know, what kind of breakfast you have if you prefer hash browns you prefer porridge uh so no i don't have, i absolutely do not feel that uh i should be upset in any way that i'm playing only russians because i am russian and uh i'm honored to be playing 
the characters that are so well written uh, in any story that that exists because ultimately it's about the story ultimately it's about the characters there's plenty of shows out there where there are still one-dimensional russian characters you know with for the longest times they the stereotype for the russian characters was uh, you know shaven heads and leather jackets and very heavy and uh cold and rude but that's just because this is what how the country was portrayed on tv and 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 then film there's been stereotypes set up for years and luckily for the audience and for us we're becoming smarter <clears throat> and uh, uh we're starting to tell the stories um on a different level more honestly more truthfully and um it's it's a lot more interesting to play as an actor it's a lot more interesting to play the character who is wholesome and, and who is so multidimensional and real rather than uh, uh you know a box cut out that's been on our screens for so many years all right costa well thanks very much for taking the time to chat and thank you for the americans and we look forward to the series finale of homeland very soon my pleasure thank you for taking the time